Hello, my name is James Mandelbaum, and today we're here to cover Gigamon Basics Building Flow Maps. The agenda for today is we're going to do a quick intro of a flow map. We're going to review the network diagram in this example. We're going to configure a flow map via the graphical interface. And then for those of you who still like to work in the command line, we're going to do a demonstration of configuration via command line. What is a flow map? A flow map is the movement of traffic from a source to a destination. The important thing to remember is that flow maps can combine many inbound ingestion network ports and send it into either single flows or multiple flows, meaning a many-to-one or a many-to-many -many relationship. They also can include parameters, which is rules, to allow you to create filters to determine what goes where. For the lesson today, we're going to take a look at this architecture. If you look at the diagram on the left, you'll see that I have two north-south egress points, ingress points, and taps on them that have both the transmit receive feed going into our HC2 appliance. So for tap one, side A, I have them going into card one, slot one, which is the transmit, and slot two, which is the receive. And then for side two, which is B, I have card one, slot three, and four. Now I have an advanced threat tool, doesn't really matter what it is for our demonstration purposes, I have that plugged into card 1 slot 11. So we can configure our flows a couple different ways as I said. We're going to demonstrate doing it through the graphical interface, which is I find is a much easier way to do it. But we also can do it via the command line. And in order to do that, you, you would SSH into the command line as a privileged user, Authenticate, you would change your mode from classic to configuration mode and issue the commands, which we will cover. In order to do it via the graphical interface, you log into the interface with your browser. Log in as an admin privileged user. You'll click on the maps icon. You'll click on new. And the following steps are pretty straightforward. You're going to give it a friendly name. You want to make it something that's very easy for you at any time to understand what the map is. We're going to call ours Internet to ATP. We're going to make sure that the map is enabled, so it's just a checkbox. We're going to change the subtype to a pass all. We'll cover that when we go through it. We're going to click into the source field. It'll populate our options to populate the source. In our case, we have those four sources. We're going to click in the destination field, which will only have one choice. We'll click on that and add it. We'll click on OK, and it'll make the map for us. Now don't forget, whenever you build these, one of the things we quite often forget to do is to click on the Save Configuration, because if you don't save it and you reboot the appliance, you won't have the maps that you've built. Let's get into it, and let's go ahead and build it graphically. Here we are at the browser. We're going to go ahead and log in. Once we're logged in, let's take a look at the ports to make sure they are indeed what we expected. If you take a look at it, ports 1, 1, X1 through X4, those are our four feeds. Feed A, transmit, receive. Feed B, transmit, receive. They're running 10 gigs. All the ports are up. And you'll see my ATP tool sitting at 11X11. It's a 10 gig, and it's also up. So we're good. Let's go ahead and go into maps. You'll see we have no maps built. We're going to click on new. We're going to give it a friendly name, the alias. Now, when you create the alias, you can't have any Blake lines, so you can use dashes or underlines or dots, whatever you like. We're going to make sure that it's enabled. By default, it says by rule, and we'll cover what that means. But basically, your choices are by rule, which we have rules that we can create. We can do a pass all, which is what we're going to be doing, or you can build a collector. So let's cover these real quick. A rule says that we're going to put filters on this and only things that match this rule will this map apply to? A pass all says just pass everything, which is what we're going to do today. A collector is what you would build if you're building a stack of maps by rules, and everything that's fallen through that didn't hit those map rules, the collector collects and sends it off. So this is how you make sure you get all the traffic, but you get to choose what goes where. So if we do by rule, and we come down to map rules, and we add a rule, you can see that we have the ability to create filters based upon, for example, if I only wanted to have IP version 4 in this map, I could very easily do that. Or I can come in and create a rule that says I only want to correct, collect certain VLANs. There are, as you can see, there are a lot of different choices. So it can give me a VLAN and I can create ranges. So in this case, we're not going to do by rule. We're just going to go ahead and do a pass all. 
We're going to go ahead and select our source ports. As I said, it's going to populate, give our friendly names of all the eligible ports that are network ports. So as I click on it, it's going to go ahead and add it right there into the dialog. When I'm done adding them, I click outside. I'll click my destination. There's my destination. I'm not doing any any advanced operations such as de-encapsulation or any GigaSmart operations. You can see that I can create priorities, which means if I've got stacks of maps, I can determine what goes in front of the other. So I can create priorities. And again, everything here has rule-based access controls. So I can go ahead and add an RBAC list of priorities for who can manage this map. So once we're done, I'm going to click OK. It's going to build the map. And if I expand the map, you can see that here's the alias. If I kind of scroll this over, you can see the full name. Give it a little more room here. You can see these are my four sources. This is my destination. It's enabled. It's regular. It's a pass all. And I have no rules applied to it. And right now, in order to edit this, you have to have admin level. As we said, we had a full RBAC. At any point, I can click on statistics, and it'll show you the traffic passing through that map. But that's all it takes to build it graphically. Now we're back at the other option, which is to build this via the command line. I've gone ahead during the break, and I've gone ahead and deleted that map so we can create it at the command line. In order to do that, we would SSH into that, into that interface, log in as an admin privileged user. We would enable ourselves, which would move from classic mode to configuration mode. We would configure terminal. And then we would start creating the commands. So we're going to create a map pass all. We're going to get a, an alias, a friendly name. We're going to choose from port 11x1 to x4. Now, can I go through and manually say from 11x1, from 11x2? I can. But why not just do the dot dot x4 and include all of them in one command? I specify the 2, 11x11. Now, the one thing to remember as you're in these configurations, you'll see the command line change as we go through to show us what mode we're in. But the order of these commands, once I'm in the pass all, if I add other commands I wanted to add, the order is not relevant. As long as I include them all, it'll build it. To exit from my configuration for building the map, it's an exit. And then I can type show map, which will show the one I just built. And of course, I would want to save running so that I could save what I just built into the system. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's build it out. Let's go ahead and log in as an admin. Enable. Configure terminal. Why don't we verify what the ports look like? And you'll see that ports 11x1 through x4, those are our aliases that they're up, they're enabled, and 11x11, our tool, it's up and it's ready to go. I want to make sure I show you what I did in the command line as well as in the graphical so that you understand how they correlate. So the other thing I want to do is just to make sure that we don't have that map still running, you can see that there's no map configured. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building this out. But just like I showed you in the graphical, if I do map question mark, you'll see that I've got the ability to just create a map. So if I type the space bar and question mark, you'll see that I have the ability right there from do alias. Now a map alias and give it a name gives me the ability then to create rules. But in our case, we're going to do a map pass all. We're going to give it an alias. And in my case, again, I'm going to call it internet to ATP. Now you'll notice my command prompt change. It tells us I'm in that map pass all configuration. I'm going to do a from 11x1 through x4 to 11x11. And then I'm going to do an exit. So if you look at what I did, I just said I want to create a pass all, give it an alias. I want to take everything from ports 1 through 4 and send it out 11. So now if I do a show map, you'll see that a map is built. It's enabled. It's taking everything from these ports, sending them to. It's a regular map. It's a pass all. And I have no rules and nothing's dropping. And that's all it takes. Thank you for viewing my video. Be sure to look at our other videos on our YouTube channel as well as our community page. Remember, save your changes. Be sure to follow me on Twitter.